Should I flip it or should I rent it out? And this is gonna matter to you within your market, within the current state of your business. So both flipping a property or keeping it and renting it out are both great options. But depending on what makes the most sense for you at the current time in your current business, in the current market, that is gonna be the answer. What makes the most sense? So if you were to flip it, there's a couple different scenarios here. It's not just always the same thing. You could lock a property up and then you could wholesale that property. That'd be a form of flipping it. You could lock it up and actually close on it and then list it on the MLS and wholetail it. That's also flipping the property. You could buy it, maybe close on it, maybe not contract it and put it on the MLS without any repairs. Another way to do it if you didn't buy it, right? You could buy it and actually fix it up and shoot to have the highest retail value you could get by listing it with an agent on the MLS. Another way to go about flipping it, right? So flipping it isn't always just one option. There's lots of different ways to flip it. You may want to do some work, you may not, something along those lines. And you know, that's still kind of flipping it, right? The other option is to rent it out. And there's pros and cons with renting it out. You may have to fix the property up first before you're able to rent it out. So think about the number of repairs that a property might need. And does it make sense? Personally, I don't like to buy properties to rent out that need more than 25 or $30,000 worth of work. Those are typically properties that we're gonna buy and we're gonna put that amount of work into and then we're gonna sell them for full retail and get as much value out of them as we possibly can or we're gonna wholesale those properties. So keep it simple. 